Allow me to break the ice. My name is Freeze. Learn it well. For it's the chilling sound of your doom. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, and thank you for clicking on the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. I've been wanting to do Frost for a long time, and I I've always just associated Frost with Mr. Freeze. And if you could tell by my fashion, that's kind of what I went for. But anyway, uh, Frost is actually a really good frame right now. He's got some really good augments going on, and I wanted to capitalize on that by introducing a more interesting subsume pick than Nourish or some of the other super meta ones. And I wanted to include Air Burst. And as you saw in there, Air Burst has a really, really unique augment where uh, it caps out at about 500% uh, extra damage for secondaries, which is extraordinarily strong with how AkiCore is currently functioning right now. Uh, it's probably the best secondary in the entire game. And so I wanted to utilize that weapon with these augments. And the intro is, you know, the, the birthing of that. So let's talk about Frost's build and we'll jump into exactly what you need to do in order to do the same. So like I said, I went ahead and took off Ice Wave in favor of Air Burst. Now the reason we're using Air Burst over some of the other grouping abilities is because I'm a big fan of the Augment mod Air Burst Rounds. Now what this mod does is it increases your secondary damage by 40% for 14 seconds. This does scale with strength and duration. So at 139 strength and 128 duration, it goes to 55% and almost 18 seconds. Now the thing about this mod and this skill, it does cap at 500% increase. So as long as you have like between eight or nine enemies, you'll hit that full damage cap. However, the duration does not have a cap because as long as you hit at least one enemy, you will retain the 500%. So right there, we just activated it. We have 500%. I'm going to spawn one guy. And so we still have about eight seconds. And as long as I hit him, it, it refreshes the timer. So you don't need to hit 20 enemies or 10, 15 enemies every single time. You only need to hit at least one person after getting the full damage cap, which is really, really good. 
So even though the radius is only 16 meters, 16 and a half meters, you're gonna be able to spam this and always have 500% increase to your secondary. Now I'm using the Aki Core. You can always use whatever your preference is. However, with this armor strip and the way Aki Core works, uh, that is the whole reason I even have the arcane velocities. So that way I never ever run out of ammo and I'm always just spamming the hell out of these tendrils. This weapon is so strong currently uh, based off its unique trait of how it increases uh, its status and crit the more tendrils there are and you have so much fire eight and you're getting extra damage from the augment as well as cascadia flare uh, This thing like you saw in the intro just Destroys steel path and thanks to frost's armor strip. He's giving himself uh, overguard and all sorts of other things uh, An extra crit and crit damage from his biting frost passive. This is making that weapon extremely powerful the next thing I want to talk about is his fourth skill, Avalanche. You'll see that my armor reduction is only 83%. It's actually not too long ago that you used to have to have over 300% strength to armor strip. It was completely ridiculous. Frost was basically unplayable. He was terrible. But thanks to some of these augments that have been released over the years and the fixing of scaling for some of his abilities, he's actually very good right now. Um, so you'll see that I have 83% and my strength is only 139% and we're getting that extra 18% from corrosive projection. So technically we actually have 101% armor reduction. So this actually fits perfectly within the build and it allows me to run some of these other augments. You'll notice he has no survivability mods, no adaptation no extra health armor none of that rolling guard that is because we have icy avalanche so the more enemies you hit you're going to increase your overguard now that also does scale with strength so for every enemy i get 83 but it caps out at about 20,000. so it is kind of hard to hit that cap especially if you're moving around but as long as you're casting it you shouldn't really experience any uh, knockdowns or statuses because whenever your overguard actually is destroyed you have like a, a millisecond of uh iframes which means you're invincible for just a sliver of a second that'll give you enough time to recast avalanche because once your overguard's broken if they continue shooting you uh frost actually has a decent amount of shields so you'll have a, a decent amount of um what is it called a uh, shield gating uh on top of that so you shouldn't really experience dying at all uh, and because of this augment, it enables me to run uh, overextended with extra duration and three augment mods. Now, we're also getting extra uh, range from Cunning Drift, so that's how we're able to top off at about 205 range. Now, you'll notice too that I do actually have two shards. I do want to fit one more orange shard for some more casting speed, but um, we actually have one blue shard for energy max. It's not technically needed because we do have Energize and prime flow uh, frost actually has a very small energy pool of about 150 so it's really necessary to throw that in um, if you want to do a ton of uh, blue shards to get more energy you could even add more more range if you really wanted to bringing this up to 20 meters which is pretty pretty uh, moderate uh, and then for his fourth scale it's going to be a 37 meters so it, it's totally up to you and I just kind of want to reiterate with the Occucore, this is the build that I'm running. I've talked about this weapon quite a few times in some of my other videos. Uh, I do have a ribbon for it, but it's just crit chance and heat. If you don't have a ribbon, I know a lot of people don't because I see the trade chat every day and there's like hundreds of you guys asking to get this ribbon. So um, try to keep getting it, but you don't need it for this build. You can throw a heat mod in there like uh, Primed Heated Charge and you'll be fine. So uh, the crit chance is nice though, but it's not necessary because we're getting uh, the extra crit from Frost's uh, Augment mod as well as Sentient Surge. So, I mean, this thing enables me to get some orange crits, but like I said, it's not necessary. You are going to be hitting and killing these enemies quite quickly that it, it, it's honestly overkill to have a ribbon at this point. Now, primary weapons. I am running the Tonkor, but I know another really fun weapon is actually the Prisma Lens. Uh, the Prisma Lens actually has some decent crit chance at the start. And if you go ahead and spawn some enemies uh, with Frost's passive, or not his passive, his augment and his fourth skill, you can hit some really nasty red crits. 
obviously this build is is mainly in relation to um the aki core but of course you can always do this too uh and you know get hundreds of thousands of damage i, I saw a red crit there for 642 uh, k so there's a number of weapons you can include you don't have to use the aki core but because we have the air burst rounds and arcane velocity that is the main source of damage that i was going for but this is a off meta build i know a lot of people in the comments say Where, where's nourish where's gloom i don't like to upload videos um talking about that because you don't need a vid you don't need to watch a video to hear about how great nourish is i mean there are hundreds on youtube already and most players already know that i like to upload videos that are off meta and you know encourage unique build crafting so if you like that type of content feel free to subscribe but as you see here it's pretty dang strong um and so once you get Occupore going you, you'll just kind of see how great this weapon is we'll go ahead pull them in armor strip and i mean they're just dead so dang fast now there is a little bit of nuance here. You could always um, freeze first and then air burst. So that way it's a little easier to hit the, re the headshots. And you'll notice they did die a little bit quicker um, because the Aki Core tendrils actually do seek heads um, a little bit. It's not like crazy strong, but if you aim in that general area, I mean, you'll see just how fast these steel path 190 heavy gunners die. It's pretty ridiculous the aki core is very very strong right now so it's kind of insane and that brings us to the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed now we're actually going to end this video with showing off the fashion i know a lot of really big youtubers have really cool looking frames but they always forget or neglect to show uh, the fashion of their frames uh, throughout their video so i like to do it at the end of mine uh, once again, if you're new here, check out some of my other videos. I've been doing a couple uh, Warframe build videos for the last two weeks. So if you're into Warframe and you like my type of content, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you thought about the video. Um, but yeah, here's the fashion. We got some colors. Now, I like to use colors from all sorts of uh, palettes, but you don't have to have all of them. But uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Oh, I almost forgot. What killed the dinosaurs? That is a...